Many thanks for joining us on News on the Arm Plus TV Africa. Here are the stories making the headlines. I am Amaka Okoye. Today is Easter Sunday and Christians around the world are celebrating the most important festival in the Christian calendar. However, the restrictions as a result of COVID-19 have left many confined to their homes. Christians celebrate Easter Sunday as the day of Jesus Christ's resurrection as it is written in the New Testament of the Christian Bible. The earliest recorded observance of an Easter celebration came from the second century, though the commemoration of Jesus' resurrection is believed to have occurred earlier than that. Joining us via Skype is Father Anthony Godonu, who is the Communication Director for the Archdiocese of Lagos. Good afternoon, Father. Yes, good afternoon. And good to see you. Happy Easter. I wish you the same. Very quickly, uh, how does it feel uh, to celebrate this Easter in a different manner by way of saying you didn't have so many parishioners today? Yes, uh, of course, the celebration of Easter today is quite unusual. And uh, of course, we are obeying the lockdown directives of the state as well as the Archdiocese of Lagos. And, uh, of course, we have been having this experience for the past uh, four Sundays. So it, does, it didn't really look strange to me today when I was celebrating the Mass. And, uh, of course, that is what it is. And we have to just go on with life at the moment this way for the good of humanity. So it has been very unusual, but we are coping with it. Father, the Catholic Church in Lagos, we know that you do have a great population and everyone is expected to uh, join the celebration beginning from the Holy Week, the Triduum, up until today, Easter Sunday. How about those who do not have access to online, you know, do not have internet and data? How are you able to cater for their spiritual needs? Well, that is a very great challenge. We recognize that, actually, that... Uh, there could be so many other people who could not come online to watch the the, the, the liturgical rites of the Easter Triduum up to today. Uh, but they also have the opportunity. What the Archdiocese has actually done since Thursday, we have been having live broadcasts on DSTV channel 198, as well as Lumen Christi TV channels, uh, channel uh, 350, 350. But also on Go TV, there is channel 29. So we, we try as much as possible to reach as many as possible. But we know we cannot cover everybody. That is just the truth. So those who are home, what they have been told even before the lockdown was that come, you can set up your own altar at home with two candles, with a crucifix, and father, mother, and children, you can sit down together to say some prayers which have been sent to every, almost everybody. We have distributed those prayers that they are to say at home if they cannot be able to go online to follow all the liturgical rites. So that is what is expected of them, and we do believe that they too will have had participation in this Easter celebration. Pope Francis was heard a couple of minutes ago, you know, uh, when he did uh, Mass, and of course, uh, the Ubi et Orbi blessings, and he gave the message of hope to Christians. How are people, especially in this part of the world, the Catholics, your parishioners, or the uh, Catholics in Lagos, how does this message of hope resonate with them during these trying times that we had to deal with uh, COVID-19? Yes, of course. I listened to the Pope a little while before coming online to the, this live broadcast. And of course, the, 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 the message of the Pope was so powerful, not only to uh, Catholics, but to oh, everybody in the world, including the leaders and the citizens in the world. And of course, one of the things that touched me so much was when he was talking about the fact that uh, the sanctions on some countries in the world should be relaxed right now because it is not the leaders that will suffer it, but the people in such countries. So sanctions maybe from the United States, from Europe, on some certain countries that uh, they felt has not been doing well in terms of uh, human rights and other things. Uh, Pope is asking everyone to relax those sanctions. He also talked about uh, forgiveness of debts for poorer countries, including our own country, Nigeria and others. 
So the, the, the message of the Pope is very, very powerful to us in the Archdiocese of Lagos. And we do hope that, that as, as it, reach, uh, it reaches out to uh, the government, it will trickle down to the people as well, so that governments, the leaders, will take responsibility and make sure that there is a great uh, respite for the life of the people that has been crumbled by the coronavirus pandemic. Thank you very much for that, Anthony, and do keep safe also. All right, thank you so much for having me. God bless you. Happy Easter.